I'm back at it again with the jewelry shit. I know I had a little bit of a hiatus with the sunglasses, but a lot of people on Instagram were all about the sunglass game. And I'm still gonna be bringing it back periodically, but gold price is astronomically high. I am self-funded, not sponsored. I don't have any fucking residual extra income coming in. I don't have a Patreon, none of that shit. But maybe I should start one and I could create more jewelry content because this is all coming out of here and YouTube ain't cutting the check like you think. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to a new brand that I got that's really popping on Instagram, Crafted London. I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. This literally just came out of the mailbox. I cracked it open and I haven't even looked at the items yet. I wanted to do a first impressions, first take, fresh out of the mailbox unboxing for all of y'all. I've had a lot of people request this, tag me on Instagram. Yo, Kuba, what do you think? Yo, Kuba, review this. Yo, check these out. I really didn't have much interest in getting something from Crafted London. And the reason being is based on the pictures and some of the items that I saw, they just, I knew that it wasn't going to be up to my particular standards. Not that the quality is shit. I don't know anything about the brand at all, but and looking at the previews of the pictures, for me, I already knew that there was gonna be some things that I didn't like, but I pulled the plunge, y'all wanted to see it, so here we go. So I got two little baggies here, so we'll start with this one. I don't know what the fuck is in it. I actually don't even remember what I bought from the website, but let's give it a shot. Here's the bag. Let's crack this, oh, this is the Cuban. Uh, full disclosure, this is the reason I didn't want to get something from Crafted London because I saw the pictures of the Cuban online and well, well, you'll see. All right, so came in a plastic pouch. Looks like it's like, did I order two? It's like two packages in here. Okay. Why is there two packages in here? Well, that's smart, I like that. So what they did was they packaged the clasp separate from the link so it doesn't scrape or scuff. So that's dope, that's good quality control. I, I respect that. Millimeter wise, this might be like an eight millimeter. And what I did like about this bracelet from the pictures was that they got at least creative. They put their logo design into the clasp. So let me show you the close up and then I'll give you my overall assessment and first impressions. So I think the lock is pretty cool. I like how they put their logo into a lock. Rather than slapping on an Asian lock, really cheap and expensive, they took the time and created their own lock. So that's dope. It makes it innovative and maybe has some proprietary shit to it. So I'm assuming it's quite simple. Yeah, we'll do a close up so you guys can see. Put it in as such. Has a little hook to it and then push. Then the release. Again, push, or you could just unlock it like that and just make it a lot easier. Feels fairly secure. Now I'm sure you're like, yo Kuba, what was it from the pictures that you didn't like? Well, one main thing that I didn't like, and I talk about it in every video, is that the link points are not welded. They're just squeezed together, and I, that bothers me. Like, if you're gonna fake flex or get costume jewelry or something affordable for you to wear, I mean, that just, that piece right there does make a little bit of a difference. Like, obviously nobody's gonna be all up in your fucking arm and shit checking your shit out, that's fine. But for me, my personal opinion and taste, I like to see that closed. Like, I feel like it's just a bit of completion. Like, just done well, in my opinion. Um, the gold plating on it is actually decent. The link, the end, that final link that hooks onto the clasp, just, uh, I like the color. I like that it's not overly cheddar cheesy. I really like the clasp. I think the clasp is very cool and innovative. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but just, if they could have just welded those, those clamping points shut, it would give it a better look. And just the, the drastic size change from this to this, I know it's to fit the clasp, I get it. But for me, my style and what I'm looking for, that kind of throws me off. Best believe I've seen a lot worse. So let's put it on wrist and I'll give you a wrist profile. Let me take, let me put it on my other wrist so you guys can check it out. Wrist profile. It's 
So for me, the Cuban bracelet is not up to my particular standards, but it's not a bad bracelet. I think it do it's done with some quality. I wish the links were soldered completely all the way. I wish they were able to match the link to the end point, so at least it has some synergy and cohesiveness throughout it. The color is good. The clasp is super innovative, and I do like it. The fit is fine. It's got a decent weight for about an eight millimeter or seven, seven and eight millimeter, it's about the size. And it doesn't look that bad, but for me, it's like a good six out of 10, my personal taste. Let's see what else I got. I really don't remember what the second thing that I bought was. I'm assuming it's some sort of chain. Yo, okay, it's a chain. It's a rope chain with a angel wing. So again, same packaging, triple package. I like that they put the attention to detail in the double and triple packaging. That's pretty dope. That means that at least they have some quality control going on, so shout out to them. You know, I'm not gonna completely shit on your product because, you know, it's not that bad. This is really light. So they package the angel wings separate so it doesn't get scratched, very nice. Got their logo in the back, the rope chain. They got their crafted hang tag. All right, let me show you. It's light, but it doesn't feel like super cheap. So that's a plus. The plating is consistent throughout, definite plus. All right, let's see how this shit wears. Neck profile. Personally, not too bad, not amazing. I'm not blown the fuck away. It has some nice structure. They have great quality control. I like the attention to detail that they put, at least in the packaging. I like the attention to detail that they do on the clasps and those little minor, those little minor touches that look for in affordable jewelry, they definitely put it in place. They have a couple of little things here and there that I would personally tweak for my taste, but overall, I've seen a lot worse. The shipment from overseas came fairly quick and not too bad. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. What do y'all think of crafted jewelry and what y'all seen? And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches.